Hey, what's up everybody? Good evening. It's Carpo here. Well, I'm just uh, kicking back. Just got done with some dinner. Watching Juno, my dog, eat his dinner in there. Mm. He's trying to get all, all the good stuff, all the wet stuff off the top. Now that's my home there, my humble abode. So I'm just sitting out here enjoying this, uh, well, it's a pretty mild evening, a little foggy. Mm. I'm sipping a cup of coffee that's, um, I use sweetened condensed milk. Mmm. I like cream and sugar in my coffee, and that covers both bases. But I think I added a little bit too much. A little sweet. But, that's life, right? So, uh, it's been an interesting year so far. Somewhat productive. Somewhat interesting. I'm hoping to achieve something better this year and really move forward in my uh, in my life, in my business, try to, you know, make something get, you know, happen, you know, instead of just waiting for something to happen like I've done for so many years. And you know, I'm honest with myself, honest enough to know that that you know, I I could do anything I want to do, but I have to have the motivation to actually put it into action. It's a huge hurdle to overcome, especially when you're not motivated to make income as far as like when you're content, you're living, you're content with what you have. I'm very humble in what I do have. I don't have new stuff or nice things. I just have, you know, a small home with my little toys, my records and stuff like that. But, you know, I'm not the kind of guy who goes out and buys the latest new stuff. I don't really spend money on anything, you know. And I don't really need money for anything, but I still have to make it. I think my only reason, my only reason for really wanting to make income is beyond security. is just so my wife doesn't have to work anymore. Because I'd love to be able to, you know, have her enjoy her time, you know, without having to go. Because right now she's covering, you know, our butts, what I'm not making since I stopped doing carpentry. I can't my back messed up you know I have to start over so you know life goes on I keep total positive outlook I mean life has been better for me than ever over this last year in fact it just keeps getting better every day and uh, you know I've, I feel like I'm moving more into my element and it's um, it's taken me years of trying to figure out exactly what I'm after I guess the, it, it, it really did come down to the whole idea of when people say, what's the answer to life, you know, people say, do you know what the question is? And that's a really old, you know, idea, but it's, it's, it's one that just keeps recurring, keeps coming up. Like, what is the question? What do you want to know? And I realized that when I was younger, I never even asked the questions or cared. Once I started seeking the answers, I was content to know that there's only certain things that I can know or will, would want to know. And like I use the metaphor of facets on a jewel, each one of us being a separate facet. And you can, if you were standing on the facet of a giant jewel, you'd be able to see each person next to you and maybe even see those facets as well. But as the, you went over the horizon, there would be people and things you couldn't see. Life's like this. Dimensions are like this. Everything. All the talk about, you know, uh, spiritual realms and whatnot. You know, you might catch a glimpse or reflection, but to see it in its whole... It's just not possible by humans. And I guess what it comes down to often is where, what do you really want to know? You know, do you want all these secrets? Do, what do you want to have magic powers? Do you want to feel content that you're going to a heaven? Or what, what exactly is your particular desire and outcome? And when I started asking myself, what do I want? I realized it was just to be comfortable in, in my flesh, but not just in who I am, but in being human. And understanding that, he, the fact that I'm going to die one day and coming to terms with that and asking myself, do I really have to create an answer to what happens afterward? Or can I just be content to, you know, live with the mystery? And um, so it takes a long time to develop that, the mystery. <laughs> when I looked at my phone there, it said 444. This happens to me all the time with the numbers, but uh, yeah, it was... Uh, it, the, the mystery of life is what makes it worth living 
So the seekers out there, often people like me who are, I'm not going to say I'm high strung, but I'm a, um, I'm actually far from being high strung. I'm just an intense person. I'm intense to be around. I talk a lot. I enjoy discussions about philosophy, and if you get me started on something, I'll go on and on and on about it. And uh, I've met a lot of good people uh, who have a lot of interesting things to say, but very few who really resonate with the ideas that I hold important in life. And it doesn't mean that I look at them as lesser or, oh no, they, they're not, they don't know what's important. It's, it's not that at all. I, because I see that everyone's, you know, a spoke on the wheel. It, it, everyone has a particular, you know, a, a point of support for the system, for the uh, economy, whatever it may be, you know, all the different parts that make society. I'm not going to say every part, every component is legitimate or valuable because some people are a waste of breath. <laughs> don't need to go into that. But um, for the most part, you know, I don't think of myself as better because I'm a philosopher and that's, a, that's an important factor for people to consider when they're, you know, think of themselves as superior because they're a thinker or something. It doesn't work that way. In fact, the ignorant man may be better off in a lot of cases, but <laughs> not for me. It's not for me. So I guess what I'm saying is that with all the different people I've met, there's everyone has their own thing to contribute. Some of my friends are just into one thing or another, and they're not into thinking about crazy, weird life philosophies. And other people are into life philosophies, but maybe not are not into doing certain things in life that I find to be important, like work and service. But everybody has something and all my friends have something to contribute in their own way and uh, the few people I do have to talk about deep issues um, it's not always easy because you're trying to vocalize things that you don't understand and uh, sometimes you're better off thinking about those things by yourself I guess anyway Carpo 7